Hello friends, you are most welcome in final advice for gate video lecture. As you know, number of students were asking for English version of this video. With the same content we had put in Hindi lecture, this video we are presenting before you. Friends, in frequency analysis, we have shown you the importance of smart scheduling, where we have seen the top 5 high weightage subject. And friends, those subjects are mathematics, environmental engineering, geotechnical engineering, fluid mechanics and then highway engineering. Let's see in the last 20 days for the preparation of gate what we have to do. Friends if you will sum up all these major subjects you can see the weightage of these subjects say for mathematics plus say fluid mechanics, geotech then highway engineering and environmental engineering. If you sum up the percentage weightage of this all subjects it would come approx 60% and I have already told you that you have to take two medium weightage subjects say structure analysis and strength of material. Now if you will see the total percentage weightage of all these seven subjects it would come approx 75%. I have already told you you are Preparation should be for this 75%. For last 20 days for the preparation of gate, what you have to do? I am giving you just a small advice here that you allot 2 days to all these major subjects. So it would come 2 multiplied by 5 major subjects, it would be 10 days. And what about st structure analysis and strength of material? You have to allot 1 day for each subjects. And now the total sum would be 12 days. Friends, let's see what you have to do in next 8 days. You can just merge 2 minor subjects in 1. Here you can see that say hydrology and irrigation. Clump into 1 or I can say treat it as 1 subject and then say steel structure and RCC treat it as one subject and then say surveying and part and CPM then finally say aptitude. You have to allot at least one day to all these subjects. One day for hydrology and irrigation one day for steel structure and RCC, one day for survey, part and CPM and one day for aptitude. And if you total all the subjects, it will take 16 days. Now for last 4 days, you have to allot 2 days for all the major subjects. You have to revise what you have studied in these 10 days for this major subjects or we can say allotted for this major subjects and again one day you have to revise what you have studied in these four days of minor subjects and friends at last for the last one day you have to revise all the subjects and friends these are the allocation for all these subjects friends now let's see what you have to do in the preparation of each subject we know in the frequency distribution say for example I am telling about the fluid mechanics case I have shown you the frequency of the different chapters friends now I will advise you you just stop studying the new concepts or I can say new numericals stop attempting the level 3 questions then what you will do in these allotted days friends you have to prepare your short notes and if you already having the short notes, you have to prepare the short notes once again. And friends, this note not only contain the basic formula, but also the associated assumptions involved. For example, I would like to tell you about the environmental engineering. You have to mug up all the chemical reactions involved in a section. So friends, and you have to keep these notes always with you till your exam. You have to write the formulas 
and associated assumptions involved or I can say associated concepts in brief. Now let's say about the pipe flow. Friends, you might have studied the formula for friction factor. There are a number of formulas for friction factor. It's implicit equation, explicit equation, Colbrook wide equation, shear stress for a smooth and rough pipe for laminar and turbulent flow. And you can see there are formulas for turbines, pumps, flow measuring device, say orifice, venturi meter. Similarly, if you go to transportation engineering in the section of pavement design, you have to remember the, the Westergaard equation for stress at the edge, center, corner, number of formulas in material testing, geometrical design, traffic analysis. And friends, if you will see the pattern of gate, you will see there are a number of questions comes based on the formula only. I will tell you, even though a person is very intelligent, if he forget a formula in the examination time, he doesn't have time to derive it in. And there is one another condition friend for empirical formula. He don't even have chance to de derive it because those formulas are based on some experiments and most of the empirical formulas are not even in homogeneous in nature. Say for example, if I'll tell you soil mechanics, you use the GI index method and you use the coefficient A, B, C, D. This GI index is empirical formula. You can't even derive it in the examination hall. So you have to uh, remember it. So there is only one option for you. Friends, you have to remember these formulas, empirical formulas. And in order to save lot of time in the examination hall, the best way is you have to remember number of concepts as well as the formulas. I've already told you in one of the my lecture that there are more than 3000 formulas in the civil engineering branch. So your practice should be such that you can easily recall those formulas. For that you can form a group of say two or more than two person and then in first half you just prepare for the subject or write down the important formulas, concepts, assumptions involved. And in second half you just test each other. You can ask any formula, assumption and concepts. Friends, I will tell you, it's a human nature. Once you listen to your mistake from others, it's fair chance that you will not forget it for a long time rather than you study alone. Hence, don't study new segments. And friends, you have to write your notes by your own. And there is a great probability that you are not going to forget it. Friends, here I'm going to tell you that if you remember 3000 formulas, number of concepts in the examination hall, then there are a fair chance that you score more than 40%. And what I am going to tell that this gate examination not only test your intelligence, but it also test your memory power or how easily you remember those formulas and concepts. And the final advice for you friends, whatever time suits to you, whether it is morning or evening, you have to mug up all those formulas and concepts because you don't have time to waste. Say for example, the cricket series is going on and the players are securing their career. They are not worried about you and what you are doing, you are just wasting your time. So you can see the recording video even after the exam. So don't worry friends and I am going to tell you if something disturb you or distract you from the study, say uh, it may be friends, relative, WhatsApp, Facebook, whatever, you just ignore them for next 20 days. You have to fix your goal your target again I am going to tell you just don't study the new segments new chapters new subjects in the last 20 days just you have to recall or remember all those subjects which already you have studied in the last one or two years I hope you like this advice and friends all the best for your gate examination if you like the advice just give a thumbs up in comment section you can give your valuable comments just keep watching Recon Civil Academy videos Thank you for watching, wishing you all the very best.